stay tuned for how to be vegan in Iceland. So on our flight with Iceland Air, we grabbed a menu. Uh, food was not included, but we did find a vegan option, uh, the gourmet falafel salad. It was clearly labeled vegan and gluten-free. Uh, it came in this fun, sustainable box with fun facts about Iceland, and the falafel was really delicious. Found the grocery store. This grocery store bonus is actually really popular and we found vegan options all over the place, which was amazing. And these were a lot of uh, quick items that we could grab on the go. So all this stuff is vegan. Yeah. So James and I stumbled upon this uh, french fry place, so there's some french fries right there. We're waiting for our french fries. Um, we just went grocery shopping. We bought a few things, um, including uh, some souvenirs. So this is uh, one of the local grocery stores. They got that vegan pizza. We also ended up getting this green smoothie, which is really delicious. And we got this wrap that had cucumbers, spinach, pomegranate seeds, and chickpeas. And we had this twice over the trip. Being a big fan of french fries, we had to stop here. This place had a new eggplant sauce and a vegan mayo, and these french fries were delicious. But we found a vegan restaurant that's really cool. It's called Vinyl. So Vinyl was definitely our favorite vegan stop on our trip. Uh, this place had really great vibes, playing music, very hipster-esque. Uh, here are the prices, a little relatively pricey, but everything is pricey in Iceland. Uh, James got the teriyaki bowl, I got the lasagna because, you know, Italian food is me. Uh, here's my delicious lasagna that I devoured. And this is James's teriyaki bowl that he also devoured. And this was overall very delicious. And here is the proof. James and I just ate here. It was very yummy. Look what we just stumbled upon. So James and I stumbled upon this uh, place. They have vegan crates. So we just ordered a vegan crepe. It cost 1,450 krona for a vegan crepe. This was our vegan crepe covered in powdered sugar and strawberries and chocolate. Probably not good for my pre diabetes, but yellow. Dark chocolate and strawberries. This bakery, Broad Co., was definitely a hot spot. It's known for their outside colorful walls. People are known to take photos with their cinnamon buns outside, like I did, guilty as charged. Uh, they had lots of vegan options. We ended up getting this Oatly chocolate milk. We got an orange juice as well. We got, uh, what they're known for is their cinnamon buns, and we got a vegan cinnamon bun. We also got a grilled cheese sandwich that they made in front of us. And look at that huge tub of vegan butter. That's insane. And those are the delicious cinnamon buns. Um, I didn't get a great photo of the grilled cheese sandwich, but here's me struggling to open it and show you the cheese. And the four things that we got, the sandwich, the cinnamon roll, the orange juice, and the chocolate milk, it all cost, how much, like six, $16? It cost like 16 American dollars. There's so many vegan options here. All around the grocery store. More. We found this vegan yogurt that looks like it would be good. So we just got done at the grocery store. Uh, we bought some food goodies for our family and friends. Um, what else? We got hummus, some bread, a tomato, some snacks. And a lot of the things here are labeled vegan, which is nice. We even got a vegan cheese. It was still pretty expensive. I feel like vegan cheese is gonna be expensive anywhere you go. But it was still nice that they have that as an option so we can make sandwiches, potentially. It was nice. There's a lot of vegan things here. So, vegans in Iceland, you're good.
our little bonus haul of the stuff we got at the grocery store. I pulled up on another grocery store called Cronin and I found a little frozen vegan spot. Too bad uh, the chicken tenders are almost 10 bucks. Hell no, nah. what the heck? And the brief crumbles too. It's expensive to be vegan here. Yikes, unless you wanna eat like noodles. More vegan pizza, vegans. This brand is pretty popular here in Iceland. It looks like the Oatly, not the vegan. Okay, we just stumbled upon all these bio life slices. Mm. About the same price back home. Maybe even, I think this might be even cheaper maybe. Huh, interesting. Yeah, all these cheeses, these are all vegan. So James and I were kind of by the Vic area when we saw, how do you pronounce it? De hello. <laughs> Whatever that freaking cliff thing was. Um, so we stopped in Vic, there was a grocery store called Cronin. So we got this um, prepared wrap that says vegan on it. And it's a uh, whole wheat tortilla, Indian hummus, mango sauce, cucumber, spinach, and pomegranate seeds. And we destroyed it already, so I can't show you what it looks like. But we bought this actually a few days ago when we first got here. We're also munching on some chips. And we also got a smoothie, which looks really yummy. Um, this is mango and orange smoothie. And we got two chocolate bars, actually, that are vegan. So we got this, Vago. It says vegan up there. But um, this is like a Nutella chocolate bar, I guess. We bought the Nutella spread yesterday, which was vegan. And then my friend Andrew, that lives in Germany, said it's really popular in Europe. And said that they sell chocolate bars. And today, at the grocery store, I found the chocolate bar. So I was like, oh. Let's get it. And then we got a cup of noodles, just veggie flavored um, for tonight at our Airbnb because we only have a microwave really. So we're just gonna fill this up and eat it. And this was 89 krona, which is less than a dollar. So that's cool. So we got all of this food for $20. Um, and if we were to go out to eat, it would have been $20 for each of us. So I don't think it was too bad. So we're sitting in the car. We're gonna eat our sandwiches. So we made some sandwiches just to save some money. We went to the grocery store, bought bread, stuff like that. I have tomato, this BioLife herb cream cheese, some vegan cheese, and I also stuck, oh, there, you can see right there, some chips in here. So that's my weird sandwich. We're just in our hotel room hanging out. I went down to the bar and I asked them if we could have a side of fries because it's not on the menu anywhere and they said yes, six bucks for fries. So we're just hanging out. Maybe later we'll see the lights. Fingers crossed. So James and I made a little pit stop after the gas station. We went to the grocery store Cronin. We got an orange juice. Loredana <laughs> and some chips to munch on um, but this orange juice tastes like low quality orange juice from Florida since we're from Florida we know what that good orange juice tastes like and this tastes like watered out low quality orange juice <laughs> but um, it's very interesting to taste orange juice in a different country and we're just walking around and we stumbled upon this corner store and I've been asking everywhere if there's vegan hot dogs and we found one. So we're in Iceland, so we have to get a hot dog and we found a vegan one. We're about to eat it up. All right, so James and I found Bacchus and right around the corner was the restaurant that we wanted to go to for dinner. My hair looks crazy. It's this vegan diner called Veganaise, maybe? I don't know. It's, it's right here. 
we're, we're inside. But this is what the menu looks like. We're ordering, we got this right, the fried fish-ish. We got that and then we got a soup and they make it a traditional Icelandic soup. So I got the traditional Icelandic soup with no meat. Except they put seitan inside. Looks yummy. We got some cheese balls. And this is like a fish and salad, mashed potatoes, fried fish, fake fish, and some sauce. So this was Joy Lotto. We went to this place our last night in Reykjavik. And it's an ice cream shop and it had kind of like weird vibes. There was like Indian relics all over the place, but here's the menu. They had lots of vegan options. It was still very delicious. <laughs> we found a delicious brownie and we have a crepe coming up. We found this vegan dessert place that we're getting a crepe and we're having this brownie. It looks really good. So yeah, we're gonna eat that now. This was the said crepe, uh, had chocolate on it, bananas inside, and some cashew cream sauce. Alright, we're about to have lunch here at Glow. Vegan glow pizza. We got a green juice and James got a wrap. Which wrap is it? It's a vegan. Oh, just a vegan wrap. Alright, let's dig in. So James got this wrap. Okay, there's beans, rice, uh, spicy mayo, and cabbage in here. It's pretty good. Here's my pizza. Nice. Uh, peanuts, mushrooms, broccoli, arugula, salted peanuts. Oops, I didn't say that. Um, vegan cheese and barbecue sauce. Mm. Well, if you got this far, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video really helped. It was super easy being vegan in Iceland. There's so many options. We had such a great time. Here's some photos from our trip. Um, if you want to see more, I actually vlogged every single day. We went to the Blue Lagoon, uh, we hiked a glacier, we swam in the oldest swimming pool in Iceland, we drove through a blizzard, which was traumatizing, and yeah, we got to see really cool icebergs and how climate change is affecting Iceland. It's a real thing. Um, so yeah, if you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!